Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football. Four box, pick your team number seven. So we're doing four box breaks. It's a 24 box case, right? So we did breaks one through six, four times six, 24. So that means break seven is four boxes from a fresh case right here. And if you follow the instructions right here, then you got a chance to win some break credit. And then obviously no vet commons, only inserts, rookie cards, numbered cards, and hits will ship in break seven. Very big thanks everybody here for making this happen. Break seven on the seventh, late Sunday night. Thanks Simon for grabbing the Panthers, last spot mojo. And there's the rest of the list right there. Now, let me pop open this case over here. Should be cutting away from me, but. Here are your legacy boxes. Let's just dump it out on this cart right here. It's not that heavy, but it's sort of an awkward shape. So we have stacks of four. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, eight? No, these are stacks of three. Can't count. So now there's a stack of four. And here's another group of four and another group of four right here one two three four five six right there kind of i'm sure if everyone can see it we're just going to roll the die we're going to say this is one two three four five six and that's the stack that we'll do six one two three four five and six so there are your four boxes that we're gonna do for this break. The rest of these boxes I'm gonna put in my cabinet. And in the future, I'll just grab four boxes at a time, just randomly. And that's how we'll do it. So the next six breaks, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, will all be from this pile right here. Now I don't think there's case hits or anything like that. There's no like in a traditional sense like a one per one like a one per thing guaranteed. I don't think we'll have to worry about that, but just know that we'll that there these are all going to be from the same case. All right, now big thanks to, once again to everybody here. Let's see what we got. And uh, we've got break eight in the store. Um, that's halfway there. That's most likely, that'll most likely be a break for, for Monday. But break seven tonight. Now, if you're watching live, this break probably will bring us to a little bit past the top of the hour. So this is kind of our last break of the night. 11 o'clock Pacific is when usually when we start wrapping things up. But if you feel like doing another break, if, you, if, if we fill up that Prism Blaster box by the end of this break, which unlocks that Hit Parade break, I'll do both of those tonight. So if you want that to happen tonight, I'll make it happen tonight. If you dig deep and knock out that break by the end of this break, we'll do the filler, and then we'll do the Hit Parade case. If not, no worries. We'll reconvene here tomorrow, and then we'll, we'll, start, this, uh, we'll start this craziness all over again.
We're looking at looking for two autographs per box on average. There's uh, Evan Neal to 100. That will be for the Giants. That's going to go to Jerry. Got C.D. Lamb for the boys to 50. That'll be for Ryan, Ryan Stewart. You got a mini Joe Burrow here. We're going to set those numbered cards right over there so we know that uh, our shipping and sorting team will sleeve and top load those before they get sorted out. And of course, hits will take care of right away. That is uh, Romeo Dobbs. Futures, Relic, and Autograph. Uh, a Nevada State Wolf Pack. Uh, I'm still, still in the preseason learning these, learning these uh, players here, but he is a wide receiver for the Packers. And who's got Green Bay? Simon has Green Bay. Nice. And Simon was like, I was hoping for one of those guys. Nice. I mean, Aaron Rodgers needs someone to throw to. Could be that guy. He's been impressing at camp so far, says Simon. I like hearing that. A little troll job here by, by Panini. I thought that was going to be a Curtis Martin autograph. There's a Kenny Pickett. Malik Willis. Uh, how's how's Kenny Pickett been looking? Has he has he been doing some work for the uh, for the Steelers? It'll be from Michael Gallucci. There's Jamar Chase to one ninety. I think Oliver is a Steelers guy. How's Kenny Pickett been looking? And here is Jameson Williams under the lights autograph. Not bad, but Oliver saying, but Kenny Pickett still looking like second or third string. All right. I think Jameson Williams is a lion. He is wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. I feel like I've heard some uh, some pundits, some talking heads, talking up this player here to thirty five. That'll be for Detroit. That's going to go to Austin. Alex is Austin Caruso, Alex's brother. So, hopefully, it turns out. Watson, the other rookie wide receiver for the Packers, Simon saying, has been injured, but Romeo has been taking the opportunity well. Good. Next man up. There's Christian Watson. There's there's the Watson that Simon was talking about. That's the two ninety nine. And here's under the lights, Kenny Pickett, orange to one twenty five. Steelers, another one for Michael. Wait, so who's gonna who's gonna be QB one then for the Steelers at least to start the season? The Steelers have a George Pickens and a Kenny Pick. Oh, Trubisky. That's right. Trubisky's on that team. I forgot. Trubisky Revival? That might be good for the hobby. Chase Claypool to 100. Oh, am I supposed to be quiet about George Pickens? That's that's Oliver's under the radar guy. Is that easier under the radar guy? Um, 
Wow, this kid speaks English really well. He was born, this, this uh, golfer, I think he, look, he looks like he's like 19 or 20 years old, but he won the Wyndham Championship. I think this is the last tournament before the FedEx Cup playoffs, but, but according to, is that Jim Nance, I think? Um, remember the, the play-by-play golfer guy here is for NBC is, but he said he was born in Korea, his whole Korea, then moved to China as a kid, and then uh, as an infant moved to China with his family, and then they moved to Australia, I guess, and he's been in Australia for seven years or so, and apparently learned English there, but yeah, the Korean guy, Oliver, who just who won today. His English is really good. There's almost like... Sounds like almost American. Like he has no... no he doesn't even have, have an Australian accent. Hmm. Good job. They should give them the tour card right there. No, they don't have a tour card ready. So well done. So well done. Thank you, Amanda. And that's for your question, too. Just go ahead. Go ahead and get it. Let's get it out there. It's official. It is official. He accepts. All right. We got for the Ravens. We got Isaiah Likely. Likely story. Michael with the Ravens. Michael Gallucci, who is also a uh, Steelers fan. He does have the Steelers in this break. Michael, you can weigh in when I see you next in the chat. It was good to see you at the National. Oliver, also, sorry, on the West Coast, also a Steelers fan. What are the Steelers' aspirations this season? Po in a post-Ben Roethlisberger world, putting a... Putting an unspectacular but competent quarterback in Mitch Trubisky, right? Especially if he has a good team around him. He's shown flashes. Maybe the Bears team he was on maybe didn't do him any favors. But what's the what what's what what do the Steelers want to accomplish this year? Are they are they thinking playoffs? Playoffs? Or is this more of like let's see how the season goes if everyone's healthy? You know, got maybe guys like Najee Harris can go off. You know, take some pressure off the QB. You know, there's still guys like TJ Watt on that team. So there's some names on there. There's Devontae Adams, Raiders edition. Looking forward to what, what he can do with Derek Carr. That offensive line still an issue. I don't want to panic just yet after the uh, Hall of Fame game, but there were some moments where he gave up some easy sacks. All right, so Oliver's thinking nine and eight, ten and seven. Okay. Okay. Here's so that. So that would be a, a pretty solid season, I would say. For the Jets, that's uh, Brees Hall to two ninety nine rookie card for Ryan Stewart and the Jets. And we've got nice. Look at this, Dick. Two out of three, Dick Butkus. That's a nice Dick Butkus. And out of fives and under, train whistle. Big hit express for a big Dick Butkus. That's for EA. Nice, EA. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Second 
You think uh, Kenny Pickett? You think they'll they'll have some plays specifically for him, Oliver? Did are, are, did they say anything about that? Or are they just going to let him marinate a little bit? It's Tom Brady to 150. I've heard of him. Buccaneers. That'll be for Harry. There's a mini trying to slip out here. There it is. That's Micah Parsons for the Cowboys. And Old Heinz Ward. Classic. Gotcha. So Pickett won't play unless the season goes sideways. So they'll, they'll let him marinate a little bit. Right. So if the season does go sideways, you, you get Pickett some NFL experience, you know, maybe you'll tank a little, try to get a nice draft pick, keep adding pieces to the team the following season. I guess that makes sense. It's not a, it can, there can be, you know, you can kind of pivot either way. Tanner, no, no dare to, are there dare to tear cards in here? I haven't seen a dare to tear card in here. Not yet anyway. Okay, Jason pulled a couple a few days ago, Oliver said. Oh, they, Simon's saying they fall four per case. Got it. Well, we're only three boxes into a 24-box case. This is only a four-box break, so none yet. Now, if the owner of the Dare to Tear card is here... Uh, will I give... Uh, yeah, I'll give, him, I'll give that person the option to tear or not. Yeah, don't quote Simon on it, but well, you can you, you can you can do what uh, what Panini says, Simon, and all the other companies on average. You know, folks, it's rare for anyone to be the best in the world. On average, right? It'll be like two autographs per box on average. So Simon is saying four dare to tear cards per case on average. And we got Jerome Ford, rookie autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Leonard with the brown. That was a late pickup, too. Terry McLaurin to 150 for the Commanders. And our second auto popping pretty early, Jalen Tolbert. So let's see if we can find some nice parallels. The rest. Tanner says it's three per case on average. Ryan Stewart with Dallas. There's Aiden Hutchinson, 299. Is he retiring? Is that, I'm assuming that's why he's... There's Desmond Ritter, 35. Yeah, lots of uh, water under the bridge and 
maybe a lot more water flowing down at East Gallatin River up in uh, Montana. Pretty good by the way. Looking forward to it. Nick, if it's about loving the scrap guy, yeah. You know, he's still the crew. Is Danny Gray to 199? Yes. Oh, that is this is Nick Faldo's f last tournament on a as a golf analyst alongside Jim Nance. And just retiring? Isaiah Spiller to 100. It's kind of a familiar voice in golf. Golf broadcasting. We got Jalen Tolbert mini to 125. Fourth and final box. Thanks everyone for making this happen. We got another four boxes in the store right now if you want to get in on it. I don't see any more orders right now, but but I'm sure we'll get multiple legacy breaks done tomorrow. We got a lot done today. We'll get more done tomorrow. Break eight has 17 teams left, and we only just cracked the surface of this big 24 box break. So if you want to get in on it, get in on it. Especially if you're up late, if you're a night owl, you might as well just lock in your team now. It'll happen tomorrow. I'd be shocked if we didn't do another four box break tomorrow. So lock in your team now before someone else does. Would be my advice. Oh yeah, I watched this this morning. The the AIG Women's Open in Muirfield, Scotland. Which is actually a pretty exciting finish. It went to playoffs. Um, Oliver, I don't know if Oliver's still there. Oliver, any other golfers out there? Have anyone has anyone golfed in Scotland? That would that would be pretty cool. I'm getting, as most of you know, my uh, my latest hobby slash journey is in the world of golf. Um. I would love to love to play in Scotland someday, or uh, would be nice. Oliver has and would be awesome. He says, "Yeah, play some Lynx golf courses in Scotland or Ireland or something like that." I would love to try to. When would I do it? I would try to do like a a fall or spring trip. So I can try to wrap in like an English Premier League game. There's a uh, Vellis Jones Jr. to 150 for the Bears. That'll be for EA. I would love to mix in um, mix in like a like a soccer match, and then maybe a round of golf somewhere. It's Chris Godwin to 75. I kind of priced out uh, while I was at the Roger Dunn. I spent three hours there. Uh, I did kind of price out uh, those those uh, those big travel those travel bags for golf. It's not cheap, but it's not 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 as expensive as I thought it would be too. I think you can you can get away with a decent one. It's twenty eight out of hundred. Not a hard shell one. But you can get away with a decent one for a couple hundred bucks. 
I actually did not price out the, the hard cases. I don't think I need a hard case. There's Kirk Cousins to 199. But I was like, yeah, well, that could work. Like a travel bag that you can like put on a put on a plane kind of travel bag. Yeah, they they weren't as bad as I mean, it all adds up, but I feel like I feel like those kind of like if you buy some clubs, I mean they're they're going to last you for a pretty long time. I mean, I don't think I need to upgrade on on clubs until unless my score gets to a, to a low enough point where like, okay, I feel like I could make, take it to the next level, but I'll be fine with these. Well, after this investment, I don't think I'll need to really invest in anything like that for a long time. Which is awesome. Once you kind of pay for it, this stuff should last for, for ages. And there's Damian Pierce, 91 out of 149, Texans. That's going to be for Aaron. Two years to get to 90. I could do it. Yeah. How often did you play, Oliver, to, to get to that level? If I if I doubled the amount of time you played, would I be able to get to ninety in a year? Is that what you're suggesting? Sean Alexander to one twenty five. And to one forty nine we got Danny Gray. Danny Gray for the Niners. That'll be for Victor. Victor on the board. I think Riviera is a country club. I'm pretty sure. I think that's private. Or a very... I don't... I think it's... Golf, that's, that's, a, that's a country club, right? It's a private club. There's an... I was looking at public... Nice public courses around here. Yeah, Riviera is private. Uh, have you ever been to Pelican Hill in Orange County, Oliver, like Newport Beach-ish. I think that's a public course, but it looks really nice. I think the fees are really high, but it, it, is, it, is, a, it is a public course. All right. If you follow the instructions, ladies and gentlemen, got a chance at some break credit. We're giving away $225 break credit codes. If you buy an even number of teams, half of that number becomes an entry for this promo right here. So good luck. You hear Pelican Hills, I'll be you haven't, you haven't been. All right, there's Aaron with. Is Pebble Beach public? I but really expensive though, right? I think same with like Tory Pines. I think Tory Pines is also public, but but also you know the playing around there is a little prohibitive. Uh, Aaron got two teams. That's an entry. EA two teams. That's an entry. I think that golf course at the Wynn is also public, but <laughs> I think it's also like $700 to play around. Um, Harry with four teams, that's two entries. Leonard, two teams, that's an entry. Matt Arnold, two teams, that's an entry. Michael, two teams, that's an entry. Patrick with four teams, that's two entries. Ryan with four, that's two entries. Simon with four, that's two entries. That last spot Mojo actually gave you that fourth. And Will with two teams, that's an entry. I actually have a friend that lives near that Pelican Hill course and there's a driving range there, Oliver. I might have to, might have to scout that out. Visit my buddy. All right, so I got Aaron, I got EA, I got Harry. Leonard, Matt, Michael, Patrick, Ryan. Patrick with four. I think both of these had four teams each, right? Then I got Simon and Will. All right. Let's gather all these names here. 
So top two. Lower. Years. Top two after seven. Good luck. Six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, seventh and final time. Top two is going to be, wow, both Patrick Davis with the top two. Congrats to you. I'll send your break credit in one code, $250 going your way. Break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Back from the national, back from my little vacation. Um, I'll be here tomorrow as well. I'll be with you all week. I think pretty much normal schedule, at least for me, normal schedule from, from here on out until like the holidays. So you got me. Thanks for breaking with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.